thanks be to God for another opportunity to be in the house of the Lord one more time. Uh, giving honor to God and due respect to my pastor, my friend, Pastor L.J. Como Sr. In his absence to the office and members, official staff of the Fiesta, to the uh, lights of Mama's light, we're glad to be in the house of the Lord Amen. one more time. Amen. In the Gospel according to Luke, the first chapter, beginning at verse 26 and ending at verse 37, Luke 1, Matthew, Mark, Luke, the first chapter, beginning at 26 and ending at 37. <clears throat> the grass with the flower fadeth, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Uh, I'm reading from the New American Standard Version. I want to thank God for our music ministry, uh, for uh, our uh, musicians as well as our choir and their services, our faithful services uh, to us, and thank the Lord for them. I want to also just uh, uh, praise God for the season that we're in. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes. Jesus is the reason yes, he is. for yes, he the is. season. It reads, now in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city in Galilee called Nazareth. Yeah, yeah. To a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph. And the descendants of David and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming in, he said to her, greetings, favored one. The Lord is with you. But she was very perplexed at this statement and kept pondering what kind of salutation this was. And the angel said unto her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall uh, name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and his kingdom will have no end. Mary said to the angel, how can this be since I am a virgin? The angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you, yeah, yeah, yeah. and the power of the Most High will overshadow you, and for that reason, the Holy Child shall be called the Son of God. And behold, even your relative Elizabeth has also conceived a son in her old age, and she who was called barren is now in her sixth month. For nothing will be impossible with God. Yes. Yeah. Turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor. neighbor. Pastor Joseph needs your prayers. Pastor Joseph needs your prayers. And your amen. Amen. Today's sermon topic is the miracle, the miracle of Jesus. Of Jesus. The miracle of Jesus. We have been on a series of messages, five messages, talking about the miracles of Jesus. Other words, speaking of five times Jesus performed miracles. But in today's lesson, going into our Christmas season, we're not just dealing with a miracle that Jesus performs, but that Jesus is involved in. The birth of Jesus is a miracle. Much, much debate is on the virgin birth and how it would occur, but my mind rolls back to uh, the late 70s at Texas Southern University. Dr. Bremner, who taught at uh, Harvard, was teaching at Texas Southern, and he was teaching cellular biology, and he walked into the room. He gave us what's called a blue paper. And if anybody know anything about uh, biology or chemistry or whatever, a blue paper is when they go and they give you a book and they tell you a subject, and what your job is to uh, outline the subject, not only in, 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 in uh, words, but also in pictures, diagrams, also with annotations along the side. So it's, either you know it 
or you don't know. Amen. And, and then when I looked at all the stuff that deals with old plaquemic segregation and how a cell divides, uh, for folk that say they don't understand, they don't believe the virgin birth, well, you, you pretty much, if you went deep enough in biology, you realize that there's something going on beyond your comprehension. Amen. Because when you get to it, my, my mitosis and meiosis and mitochondria and spermazoa and ovum and zygote, see, some of those terms I lost you already. Yeah. Folk that don't know how a radio works say they don't understand the virgin birth. Some things we have to accept by faith. By faith. Now, 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 the miracle of Jesus is not just what Jesus is doing, but it also how Jesus comes about. Because if you, you have to go all the way back to Genesis 3, when we find that man has sinned against God, mm -hmm. Satan, Eve, and Adam went back to fool, right. and now they are sitting there waiting for God to deal with them for their judgment, for their foolishness. Right. Yeah. Has anybody ever been in trouble yet to wait on the old people? Yeah. See what they're going to do to you. You know, you're sitting there, your mind racing and wondering what it's going to be like. You, you, you know something is coming. You just don't know what it is. And so in Genesis, they start with the snake and they said uh, to the snake that I'm going to curse you. I'm going to put you on your belly. You'll eat dust. And then it said, I, in verse 15 of Genesis 3, I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your seed and her seed. Not too many women like snakes. Amen. It's a natural dislike of snakes with most women. Matter of fact, if a woman likes snakes, uh, uh, that might not be the one for you. I'm just saying. Might not be. And, and then it says that he shall bruise your head or crush your head. And you shall bruise him on the heel. So what it's saying is that the seed of the woman would bruise the head of Satan. And that Satan and his seed would bruise uh, his heel. Now, why am I saying this? I have you to understand that we get sin similarly from our father. Okay, go ahead. I know some of y'all still think that y'all whole brothers and sisters because y'all have the same mama. No, you get your blood and your blood type from your father. So if you have the same father, you are whole brothers and whole sisters. If you have different fathers, that when, that makes us half brothers and half sisters. See, in African-American tradition, because most of us knew our mother, we have that mixed up, but we get it from our dad. And so when, uh, when a man, all he brings to the table is his seed, but in that seed, the Bible says in, 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 in Adam, every man sin, and we get our sin nature from our Father similarly. So when a man shows up to the party of fertilization, he messes it up because he brings his sin nature. So in the text, in the text, the miracle of Jesus is that he would come, his name would be Jesus. He said, You are favored, and then he said, What well, all these things that he would be? He said that he would be. What? He'd be the greatness of Christ. He would be, his name would be Jesus. He'd be the Savior. Then the greatness of his majesty, that he would be son of the most high and sit on the throne. And then said the greatness of his might, so he will reign over the house of Jacob forever. He was mighty. All these things happening. And you know, like most people say, hold on, Jesus. Hold on, Gabriel. How is this stuff going to happen? Because here I am. Tradition says she was somewhere between 14 and 16 years old. She was engaged to Joseph. And in the verse, she says, in verse 35, 34, how can this be? Have, in life, there are going to be times 
when we are called upon to go a little bit further, All right. to do more than what we can comprehend or what we can understand. In this case, Mary said, I, I hear all this, you're saying gay, well, I understand, and I, I, I heard about them, I heard about the Messiah coming through a virgin, I heard about all that, but guess what, I, 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 how can this be? How can this happen? The, how can this happen to someone like me? People have been arguing about, about how it can happen, but can, can I tell you in the text how it can happen? Come on. It's right there in the text. See, see, the first thing we have to understand is that somebody had to be over or preside over this conception because this type of conception had never been done. Let, let me help you. The Bible says that before the foundations of the world were laid, the lamb was slain. So Jesus died in eternity past because time was made with, in, for man and God exists in eternity. So all the time is like this point to this point, this time it has a beginning, it has an ending, and but everything over here, over there, under there, all over there, around right here, under there, on the side, and five, nine, 29, 30 other dimensions is eternity. Now all we are looking at is time. So what I'm saying to us is that, follow with me, who was over it? Who was over this great miracle of Jesus? The angel says the Holy Spirit. The presider over this miracle is the Holy Spirit. God's Spirit can do whatever he wants to do. And so what he did, he put his spirit in charge of the virgin birth. See, see, guess what? If, if a man would have showed up, he'd have messed it up. So God showed up himself in the form of the Spirit of God. And so what we have to understand, the, the, the presiding over this miracle conception is what? It is the Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of, of this, the power of this conception is not the power of Mary. It's not the power of man. Not even the power of of miracles, but it is the power of the Holy Spirit. It is the power of God. All right. The text says that it will overshadow her. You know, many folks, you have to be an understanding of the Jewish uh, culture of the tabernacle and the temple and how, again, and the Holy of Holies and how the Holy Spirit would hover, would hover, would come down. Heaven would come down to meet us. Right. There have been cases where, again, in all of your knowledge and your ability, you've not been able to do it. But when the power of God comes, yeah. you're able to do more abundantly exceedingly above all that we ask or think according to what the power that works in us. This overshadowing was something that the Jew understood because uh, the Spirit of God would hover sometimes in the wilderness over the people. The Spirit of God would lead them as a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of, of, of fire by night that the presence of the Lord, would, would they would see and they would uh, feel the presence of of the Lord. And guess what? The overshadowing is the power is not our power, but is the power that comes from God. Now, a God that can do everything, make everything, put everything in order, and keep it in order, certainly has the ability and the power to do this conception. See, the problem is, people want to believe what they want to believe All right. rather than the truth. That's right. There's some people that still are arguing over whether we went to the moon or not. Come on. Yeah. There's, there's some people people just don't want to believe. They, 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 they want to have their own understanding. The Bible said, lean not to your own understanding. Right. In all thy ways acknowledge yeah. him yeah. and he will direct your path. Yeah. The power of conception is many people have truths in believing a virgin birth, but they can believe somebody fell out of airplane one mile, 
Went all the way to the ground and didn't die. That's a fact. Man fell out of the airplane. One mile in the air. Fell all the way down and didn't die. The man lived on a desert island for 42 days with no food. And yet he survived. We can believe people can be underwater for seven, eight, nine minutes and that, that the coolness of the water can keep them alive, but we don't believe that. You can't even, you can't even really understand Amen. how your phone works, let alone how God works. Amen. In this miracle, we see that the Holy Ghost is putting his power in the birth. So, Everything that a man would bring to the table, uh -huh. God brought it to the table in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So, and, and I'm not trying, I'm not, not going to try to get too deep, but whatever you needed to make a baby, yeah, Lord. the Holy Spirit brought it. Now, I know we live in, a, in an age where on Jerry Springer, that five out of six times, when you do the paternity, Sometimes they say you are not the father. And it seems like the woman just go running, bump back, and all of And the man say, I told you, whatever. And I know that 40% of the people who get tested on paternity is not the father. But can I suggest to you today that there is no need for a paternity test? That God is the father of Jesus Christ. May I suggest to you that the Holy Spirit did what God could only do, that the most the, the power of the most high would overshadow you. And if anybody know anything about walking and working with God, there are times when the Holy Ghost takes control of what you are doing. You can preach and not even remember what you preached about. People say, Didn't you, don't you remember saying, I don't remember saying that. And they say, you did say that. You have to go back and listen to the, to, the, to, the, to the recording, and you did say that. There are times when, again, God's Spirit overshadows you. So we look at this miracle of Jesus is that not only do we have the Holy Spirit in control and, 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 and presiding, but we also have him having the power. Now, guess what? He had to have something to work with. He, he had to, and not only... That, that Mary have to be a virgin. It said virgin two times. Not knowing a man. She was engaged, but they hadn't uh, 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 had relationship. So again, we've got to understand that God can use us, but there are some things we disqualify ourselves from by not being right with God. See, Mary had to understand that what God was going to do it was going to be holy or hagias. Hagias means set aside for a specific purpose. And that purpose is a purpose of God. Right. Holy means separate, set apart, and it means sanctified by God. So what she had to, she, she was willing to be used by God. She said, look, I haven't been with a man. How this going to happen? See, guess what? God is able to do whatever he needs or wants to do when he is, is part of his plan. When part of his plan, guess what? The sun stands still. Yeah. It just stands there. That's part of his plan. When part of his plan, he opened up the Red Sea. It, it just happens. When it's part of his plan, uh, uh, and God knows he's supposed to be somewhere, man shoots seven times at close range, and you look, and you, and they don't hit you. And it's not anything because it's part of his plan. One of the things that we have to learn is we've got to learn that we want, God wants us to be set aside for the purpose of God. And the only thing it takes for us to be holy is to live, is to live in him and walk in him and then to be set aside for his purpose. The best thing I could say when I was coming up uh, uh, that was holy was the china cabinet that my mother had and for this reason I eat on my dishes when I want to because you couldn't go into that china cabinet and use anything because that was for guests 
special occasions or whatever. Now you can go in there and think you're going to use that plate and, and think you're going to use that. It, it wasn't going to work out in your favor. But I like my Uncle Lynn, my Uncle Lynn, uh, uh, Lynn Ellis. Uh, uh, again, he told his wife that Pan, he said, uh, baby, we don't have enough use for that. So I want to use this china. And guess what? When she fed him his dinner, she fed him on his china plate. She, she gave him his coffee. She gave him in his coffee plate. Because what he said is that it's set aside for a special purpose, but but I, I don't think I should have something that's special that I can't use. Amen. Amen. God wants to use us. Amen. And if he's going to use us, uh, amen, we, we need to be prepared for the Lord to use us. Many people are outside of the will of God, outside of the word of God, outside of the way of God, and they want God to bless their mess. One of the things we have to look at is that we've got to be in position and we've got to be prepared for God to use. Many people have been disqualified because of their, their background and their record. Come on now. That's some folk, some jobs you might can't get because Back when, <laughs> right. before you were saved, All right. or why you were saved, or why you were slipping, and folk wouldn't. Oh Lord, if the Lord was to run a background check on all of us, all right. we all come with sinners. Amen. All have sinned and come short of the glory. There are none righteous, no, not one. That's why God had to show up in the party in, in the form of the Holy Spirit. For the Holy Spirit to overshadow Mary so that again what would be in her, and I don't like what the uh, King James said, holy thing. No, it's a holy child. I don't like that because th that word was added by the translators because it was God. God showed up to do it himself. Why did he do that? Because Adam sinned. He messed up. Then Cain kills Abel. He brings on Seth. We didn't come into to Noah. He was just found favor. He had to start all over. And then when Noah got off the, uh, off the boat, he got drunk on the eve of reconstruction. And then we come on to Abraham. And, and Abraham, God told him, I'm going to give you a son. But he took a lot. And, we, and if you just go through the history and figure out what's going on, a lot messed up. And, and we got Ishmael, and, and that's because we have a conflict between brothers that is still fighting. Uh, again, then we have Isaac. Y'all not traveling. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Joseph, and all of this stuff. We went through all of the different prophets. We brought Moses. We brought him out of the, out of the uh, promised land, and now we have all of the different prophets that came through. They killed the prophet. You know what folk do when they don't want to hear what you got to say? They discredit who you are. You got to be careful when you say some stuff about the wrong people. They'll begin a negative smear campaign against you. All the way through all of these prophets, all of these people, through all of these generations, now God decides to come down and do it himself. The miracle of Jesus is that he is the son of God. Yes, sir. Many times we are looking for uh, an answer. I'm going to give you a formula and I'm going to go to my seat. The only way that you can get a positive number by adding to a negative number is that the positive number you're adding has to be larger than the negative number. The Bible says the best of our righteousness is but filthy rags. The righteousness of man still has a sin in it and a sin nature. Okay, I told you, you get it from your dad. So every one of us, when we showed up, we had righteousness, but it was still had dirt in it because we had a sin nature. But when God brings Jesus, he does not just bring uh, a man, but he brings a man with no sin because no man has touched the equation. The Holy Spirit gives him sinless blood. I don't know when the shot people say, yeah. Because this blood, this righteousness 
can cover all of our unrighteousness because it has no sin in it. It's a number so big that it reaches the highest mountain. That it flows to the lowest valley. The blood will never lose its power. This conception brings about a God, what they call the hypostatic union, when God and man meet. Well, guess what? He's God on his daddy's side, man on his mother's side. Other way, when they asked him how old he was at 12, he said, Well, if on my mama's side I'm 12, but on my on my daddy's side, we're the same age. Yeah, I'm not traveling with you. And so what I'm saying, this hypostatic union brings about, it brings God to the part now. When I look at my sin, he does not see us, but he sees Christ. Romans 8 saying that as he looks at us, as he looks at us, he does not look at us as, as aliens. He looks at us as being adopted into the family of God. So he looks at us. He, when he sees us, he sees Christ yeah. in us. That's why he's changing us yeah. to the image of his sin. Some of y'all don't really realize that the only reason why y'all made it through childhood is that you look like your mama or you look like your dad. Because they wanted to kill you at least one time. At least one time they wanted to do something real bad to you. Yes, they did. And then they looked at you and said, you know what? This little, this little rascal looked just like me. Or they look like my husband. And I just can't kill them because of that. I want to, but I'm not going to do it. All right, all right. It's the resemblance of the Father that saves us. When, when, we are, when, we are, when we are viewed, we are viewed, the Bible says we're changed to the image of his son. And let me give you something. I'm, I'm going to go to my seat. God is not impressed with you. God is not impressed with me. God is impressed with Jesus Christ. And the more we become like Jesus Christ, the more God is impressed with us. He is changing us to the image of his son. That he would die on the cross for our sins, a substitutionary death. That he would provide uh, the means for us to be saved through him. And in his blood would wash away all of our sins. It makes us right with God. He took his mother's hand, which is Mary. His father's hand, which is God. He puts this thing together. And in Christ, we are all now free. And we are saved. The miracle of Jesus is that he bridged the gap. The miracle of Jesus is that he lived a sinless life. The miracle of Jesus is that he died for us on Calvary. And the miracle of Jesus is that he rose from the grave. And the miracle of Jesus is that he is now sitting at the right hand of the Father. Yes, sir. Making intercession for us. Yes. Every time the devil bring up my past, Lord. Jesus just said, I died for that. I paid for that. I, I, I know about you. See, 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 the people over here don't have nothing in their background, but two, three people over here, we know what we didn't get. Yeah. We know we got some stuff that we don't want to come up. I don't even want it to come up in the, in, in the gym. I said, don't play that. Don't play that. Just, just, just don't let me in. You already know what I'm saying. Just let me. Don't please don't play that. But thanks be to God. Thanks be to God for the miracle of Jesus. If there's one, the door is open, there might be one. By letter, the spirits of grace or restoration. The whole world is about to pause. Some people will pause because of the lights. Some people will be called pause because of the presence. Some people will pause because everything will close. Some people will pause. Because they know they got some food over somebody's house. But during this season, we have a chance to share our faith and let people know that Jesus is the reason for the season. I don't have to understand it. I don't have to qualify. I just believe that God sent his son, Jesus. And if you will believe him and trust him as Lord and save you. He will save you today. He'll give you a brand new life. If you're here today, would you come? If you're on Facebook, send us a message and we'll get back with you.
let you know what the next steps are. Thank you, Lord, that you thought it not robbery, 